Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really informative video for you today where we are going to be together diving into the Bitcoin chart, analyzing this price action and I will be giving you the next levels of where I am trading. As you know, there's a saying within inside the cryptocurrency market, when CC Pool gives a level, it gets respected. And the levels that we have been giving have very much well been respected. So I'm gonna be continuing with that today and giving you my next levels to be trading over the next few days. So I hope that you truly enjoy and appreciate this video. We're gonna be diving into this right now together. And yeah, let's just keep this concise and professional for you. So I wanna pick up from where we left off yesterday's video. And that is where I was in a long position at the time, obviously originally from this swing failure pattern of the low, looking for this to push up higher. At the time we were looking at this, okay? My words were, I am not going to short Bitcoin yet. I am not shorting Bitcoin here at this high. I am waiting for higher. And where was I waiting for? Well, let's remind you of exactly what I said in higher we can look to this old range point of control slash the daily okay the daily is going to be key again this is a bit of a zone from around 31,600 and so you can see what I was saying there. I was obviously long, not shorting yet, and I was looking for that previous range point of control up to the daily. And I like like this guy, not bragging, but I also shorted the daily with the top blindfold. Me too, bro. It was a great short trade. But this is the thing that we had to remain patient of. You know, in my opinion, the shorts that were coming in here were too early, too overconfident, and essentially we're gonna get short squeezed and even, you know, the little jokes that I make in here, short's gonna get wrecked. Well, everybody that did short in this zone did essentially lose money because price, guess what happened? It pushed up higher. So those early shorts got wrecked and we came up to, well, have a guess where we came up to, ladies and gentlemen. You can see for it yourself when we, well, let me just say this. Just think of this for a second. Without technical analysis, you are gonna be left confused. You're gonna be wondering, why is price turning around here? Why did price reject here? Why did price bounce from here? You can see how this leaves you with total confusion and an un, you, know, you cannot understand what's happening without technical analysis because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is highly reliant on your lower term time frame traders to move the markets. These highs and lows are put in from your traders. It's got nothing to do with fundamentals, it's got everything to do with the technical analysis and we're proving this time and time and time and time again, okay? So hours in advance before that high was put in, I said be aware of that previous range point of control to the daily. Let's add on the analysis and the exact levels that I gave hours in advance and just look at that ladies and gentlemen, just look at that. We can see we topped out exactly at that daily level. Okay, just so you can fully understand here, this was obviously, why did we put in that low? Why did we put on this low on the 3rd of June? Well, we all know it was because we've done the swing failure pattern there at UK time, 16.49. Okay, that was the very low. That was the swing failure. We got the rally. Where did we rally up to? The daily. So you can see, these pivots are not random. And again, if you don't know what the previous range point of control was, I'm obviously posting this inside of the Discord group. Again, the public videos, they're more for, you know, the general levels. And if you want the, you know, more in-depth analysis, live updates, this is obviously for the, for the Discord champions group. But again, that level for the previous range point of control, I hinted at it in the video, but it was exactly $31,640. So you can see here how we're then given a really big target resistance zone from the long of the swing failure pattern up to you know that daily previous range point of control this is a really big important level that one just cannot forget okay and we can see price came up to this level and as soon as that level has been hit you know this is where for myself anyway we've got to be thinking this is a major 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 take profit as soon as that happened to the minute I'm posting that inside of the Discord group. And then also I gave a bit of a free bonus to everybody, uh, reminding you all that, and again, this was before, way before the massive drop to the downside, reminding everybody for free here that that is the major target now on the Bitcoin long hit at that daily zone. Thank you for playing and smash that thumbs up button. And again, on this video, if you made some great money with us yesterday, hit that thumbs up button. It's the least you could do because that was given to you on an absolute plate. Here we were obviously discussing that daily target and here even for free reminding everybody and even in the public, that is our major target hit. Okay, and then we're looking at the reaction. For me, 
this is a take profit on the long, and then we're looking at the reaction. Really simply, this ended in a rejection, and that does equal taking short positions on Bitcoin. Nothing's gonna go up forever. At the end of the day, we're at the range high. If we see a rejection from the range high, off the daily, off our naked point, of we even had a naked point of control here. We had the previous range point of control. If we're rejecting from there, we are taking short positions, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely are taking shorts. I even had an alert going off as we were coming up on that high, short Bitcoin, short Bitcoin, Daniel, do not forget, I'll even show you, this was the alert, you can see here, that alert was set at 12 p.m. The alert is triggered a few hours later, or three hours later to be precise. You know, this is the level that we've been waiting for. This is the major target hit. We have seen a rejection off of this level, period. It's time to short Bitcoin. And we can see the reaction is a very quick one at that, a very large, quick move to the downside. I will explain this briefly. When we see really big moves to the upside quickly, guess what? The reversal is just as quick. Here we saw a really big move to the upside. Guess what? The reversal is just as quick. That is something that we teach and prepare all of our members for because this is a reoccurring pattern we see time and time and time and time again. So I said at the start of this video, you know, when you look at this chart, it might seem random. It might, you might be confused. Why are lows and highs put in? This was the retest of the value area low of the higher term time frame. This was a swing failure pattern of the low. This was a rejection off of the daily slash our previous range point of control. Once again, a level we were ready and waiting for with absolute precision there, absolute precision. We rejected from that level with a large move to the downside. What happened at the low? We took that low one more time for another swing failure pattern for a bounce. Again, I think that was an acceptable long position, but in my opinion, you will have already taken profit on that. Why? Because when we pull the fixed range, we come back and we back tested that POC. Absolutely, this could be, um, you know, an absolute major level for your lower term time frame traders taking profits. So <clears throat> absolutely, this can then lead to more further downside unless we reclaim that level, of course. So that was the brief review of what happened yesterday, and then I'm gonna move on to what's happening next, okay? So now we have seen a large move to the downside, okay? What am I looking for next? Where are the next levels, okay? Well, let me explain this to you. There's one thing that I wanna talk about really, really, really briefly, and that was a few people that were a little bit confused, okay? Obviously, we have that 10,000 views on that video, over 10,000 views. Of the 10,000 viewers that we got, you know, there's gonna be, of course, there's gonna be one or two people that are, you know, maybe even more than that, let's say like 10 people that are confused. Why? Because they're newer traders, they don't get all the grasps of what we're looking at, the different time frames, etc. So I'd just like to take, you know, one minute to, uh, you know, understand their point of view and explain this. So hopefully it can provide some clarity for a few other people. Um, there was a few posts, um, you know, of people saying, oh, Daniel, like, uh, why are you so bullish up into the highs? Well, you have to remember, first of all, the long is from, it was from the swing fire pattern of the lows. And I did say in that video, I am not shorting yet, I am waiting for higher, okay? So if price had turned around here and not gone higher, I admit I would have been wrong. But what happened was price did go higher. We went and rallied higher. The early shorts did got stopped out. We did go on to hit major targets of the long and then there's a drop. So, you know, some people are confused of, you know, so I heard somebody said, hey, I, I closed my, I closed my uh, short because you were bullish and then prices dropped. It's like, you have to think, I, if, if it just kind of doesn't make sense, okay? You, you got to think, I was bullish looking for higher, price did go higher. And then after hitting the target, price dropped. So if you're unable to react to those type of things, you really have to kind of like just, think to yourself like what, what's going on here it's like this guy said uh you know dude myself posted a video saying he expects higher at least the highs get taken out which he actually did during the video he then gave the next target which is where it obviously topped out in the discord in real time i posted that i'm taking the major take profit to there even on twitter for free not sure what you actually want me to do i'd actually give him an exactly as predicted for that one I've been here since October and I think he's been uh, off sharing. I think I've been like off uh, sharing my Bitcoin bias twice on any time frame. I can assure you he isn't de deliberately misleading anyone because some people are saying, hey, this guy's trying to deliberately mislead people. Uh, think your issues is you are confusing his swing trade setups that he shares on a Sunday that often takes week to trigger, um, with, you know, with his intraday setups that I'm sharing on YouTube and Discord. Now maybe putting a little bit too weight on the tires. And I, I basically just want to emphasize this one final time 
Amen. Um, it doesn't make sense to trade off of a title or a thumbnail. The whole reason for a title and a thumbnail is to draw attention. They are only effective when used in such a manner. I can actually make a video and the thumbnail is something completely different than what I actually say in the video. Uh, thus, it makes no sense to trade off a thumbnail or a title, which I am more than open to changing at any time. You know, I can make a title and I can change the title the next day if I absolutely want. There's no reason that cannot happen. The content of what's said though can never be changed or edited. Yeah? So if I want to change a title, I can change a title. If I want to change a thumbnail, I can change a title. But the content and what I say is set in stone. That is in the history books. That is there forever. So what you need to do is pay attention to the content. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I am long. The target is the daily. We hit the target price reverse. If you are getting overly bullish because I am in a long position before the target's been hit expecting higher, then you have to really question like, what is your ability of a trader at that point? Because, you know, if my target's been hit, then I'm obviously gonna be taking profits on that long. And then if price reverses after taking profits, I'm very, very, very happy with that, you know? So that's just one thing that I wanted to address really briefly. And then, you know, not spend too much time on it, but um, now moving on to, yeah, what's happening next then? So there's a few things that obviously happened up here at the high. After re taking that rejection, we can see we changed local market structure down to the VWAP. From the VWAP, we got a bounce. This was a really nice intraday long, by the way. So this is where other people might get confused. I personally did take that long offered a VWAP. It was a level I was already waiting for. We obviously saw a bounce to the upside and this is where the high was put in at around 11 p.m. last night UK time. And why was this high put in? Well, we came up, we formed this pattern that we've seen many several times. This is kind of like your head and, you know, quote unquote, like a head and shoulders pattern. You come back up into that CC zone. And obviously this is what happened. You saw a very large drop to the downside. It's like here, Daniel is pretty much putting it on a plate. You can see here, this is what it looks like. You put in the high of the rally, you come back down, you test the VWAP, you then you come back up and you test this uh, last prior high with the CC. Price rejects the CC, rejects the CC, if we just zoom in here. Price rejects the CC, rejects the CC, rejects the CC, and then you come back down, you take that low, you've then lost the VWAP, you've then put in a high, low, lower high, lower low, really quick move to the upside, really quick move to the downside is to be expected, and obviously that is what happened. So you do have to remember that when you're looking at these setups and this is how it's playing out, you know, I have pretty much given you all the levels that you needed at that moment in time. There was no levels here to be trading. And that's why we went right down. Where did you, we actually bounced off the, off the weekly kind of, but you know, this is the thing. Make the levels, make the plan, trade the plan, okay? There's levels to trade, there's levels to remain short and, and wait for low. Once you change that market structure there, price went down very, very, very quickly. We then had lost this range point of control, we had lost the VWAP and it was, you know, it was fair game to expect much lower at that point. And even that really quick move to the downside was expected, okay? So from here, we have, once again, now bringing on to what's happening now, some really key levels. If we wanna see a further move to the upside, we need to reclaim that point of control, which currently we've just back tested and rejected from. Okay? Okay, so that 30,000 psychological level is obviously key right now. Okay, to the downside, it looks pretty nice. Um, we obviously have still this, this really nice pocket where this is not a Fibonacci level, by the way. This is just what I'm using to highlight a nice volume level. That still sits between that 29, well, basically down to the CME gap, which is around 28,800. So don't forget the CME gap. Okay, obviously we can look at that with our Bitcoin futures. Okay, then we have a daily level below us here, and then we have the uh, daily NPOC. So these are two to three key levels to the downside, and for myself, I've just got those two key levels to the upside. That local, very, very close, we literally have just about tested it, uh, range POC, up to around that, you know, 30,000 psychological, give a few hundred dollars at the side of it, but that would be my key levels again. Yeah, it's as simple as that. This this is the way that we trade, ladies and gentlemen, or this is the way that I'm trading. I'm, I'm down here on the lower term timeframes looking at things such as the order flow. I know I have levels on the chart, okay? So I'm ready and waiting with levels. Once I see the reaction of those levels, guess what I'm doing? I'm not hesitating. As soon as that hit to the minute, taking profits. Then I see a rejection. Well, guess what I'm gonna be doing after that rejection? you know, I'm going to be looking them for the shorts. That is a clear rejection off of a major, major target. From that, you've got a very low risk back test. This is where you can get into your shorts, stop loss above the high. You can actually target all the way down to the weekly, which is was for, for me a, a target, to be honest with you. So 
you know, at the end of the day, it's make the plan, trade the plan, mark out the levels, don't get emotional, don't get confused. And, you know, it's like I say here, at the end of the day, this is what you call trading the charts, being able to trade a long into a short with no hesitation or emotions. After you see a major target hit on the long and a rejection, you go into short trade, trade the range until it breaks, okay? Oh yeah, by the way, I've got a TikTok video if you wanna follow us on TikTok Chart Champions. You can see other people here sending their regards, major profits on the shorts, another person, major profits off the shorts of entering around 31,500 there, taking it all the way down to low, tw you know, mid 29,000s, another person entering the shorts there, first time since joining Chart Champions that he's taken the exact same trade as me, never had a prouder feeling. So you can see trading takes time. If you're in here on your first, you know, first, year of trading even, you are going to make mistakes. You are going to take losses with 100% positive certainty. That is going to happen. But it's through taking these losses, it's through, you know, taking these experiences, it's through learning that you get better. And you can start to then be taking the same trades that I'm seeing again, you know, in advance. That was no surprise. Swing forward pattern, high, back down, take the low retest range point of control, like even on the very low term time frames, you know, retest of the VWAP was a level we were waiting for yesterday, and back up into the CC, take the highs, failed auction, come back down, lose VWAP, lose range point of control, then you've put in a higher term time frame market structure change, come back down to the inefficiencies, bam, really quick move to the downside. It's all extremely technical. I know I'm going on a little bit too long in this video, maybe, but I just want to emphasize one final time, very, very, very technical, Price is rejecting at levels we're ready and waiting for. Understand time framing. You know, understand when I'm saying I'm not shorting this yet. I made it very clear. I am not shorting this yet. If it drops now, I'm wrong. If it comes up and hits my target and drops, I'm right, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to end with. If you want to see more from myself, obviously that is within the Discord. And if you want to learn the theory behind what I teach, then this is obviously at chartchampions.com. Well, you've already had two live streams this morning. One, well, bo both of them from George with his daily updates for the champions, where he's obviously going in depth, um, you know, explaining these moves, what he's looking for next. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope I've given you some clarity. Hope I've un made you understand why we're putting in these highs and lows and some of the levels that I am looking towards next. So I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has assisted you and I will catch you in the next one that I make. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope that you have a brilliant day and um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. And I will end, of course, no financial advice. This is just entertainment, educational video only. No financial advice. Hope you understand that and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.